Hi, this is Debbie, and I'm back to talk to you about copyright infringement and the new Copyright Claims Board, which will allow you to bring a copyright infringement claim in front of a tribunal for a nominal fee. So let's get started. In December of 2020, Congress passed the Copyright Alternatives in Small Claims Enforcement Act, known as the CASE Act, which directed the Copyright Office to create the Copyright Claims Board, CCB. The CCB is a three-member tribunal that resides in the Copyright Office and was created to allow creators a less expensive and quicker way to resolve certain copyright disputes. People with or without legal training can bring claims before the board for an initial fee of only $40. Currently, the CCB has started hearing cases. There is a lot of information about this new process at the CCB.gov. It is important for you to know that copyright ownership creates rights that gets you paid. There are two different kinds of copyrights, the performing arts copyright and the sound recording copyright. If you need to know more about this specifically, feel free to visit my website at www.emusicentertainment.net PA and SR copyright video course. I will also add this to the description because I created an entertaining video series to help you learn how to get paid from your music that you invest in. If this is of interest to you and you want more information to help you succeed, please do the following. Subscribe to my YouTube and my Instagram at eMusic Entertainment or consider checking out my store on my website at eMusicEntertainment.net, which will give you the tools to help you save time and make money doing what you love. Now, back to the CCB. There are three types of claims that can be brought before the CCB. A copyright owner can bring an infringement claim. A user of a copyrighted work can bring a claim to get a declaration from the CCB of non-infringement if someone has alleged that they are infringing and has threatened to take an action to enforce their rights, such as a cease and desist letter or has sent the takedown notice. Pursuant to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, the DMCA, or three, a copyright owner or user of a copyrighted work who believes a DMCA order, notice or counter notice that was sent to them contains a misrepresentation. Then they can file a misrepresentation claim. These are the only three types of claims that can be heard by the CCB. So ownership disputes, termination claims, and trademark claims cannot be heard by the CCB. The CCB can also hear counterclaims that might be raised in response to claims brought by the claimant as long as the counterclaims fall within these categories and are a part of the same transaction or occurrence or arise under an agreement pertaining to the same transaction or occurrence that is the subject of the claim. This form is inexpensive, especially compared to copyright litigation, which takes many, many years and costs lots and lots of money. The total fee to file a case with the CCB is $100, which is significantly less than the fee to file a case in federal court, and that's just the filing fee. The $100 filing fee is split into two separate payments. The first one is $40, which is paid at the time the case is filed, and the second payment of $60 is due if the person being sued does not opt out because they have 60 days to opt out at which time the ccb will issue an order asking the person who brings the claim in front of the ccb who's referred to as the claimant 
to pay the second fee is $60. This must be paid within 14 days of the CB ordering it. And this is definitely simple enough, but not all groups can be sued in front of the CCB. The following parties cannot, you cannot bring a claim in front of the CCB for anyone who is a federal or state government entity, a foreign resident, or an online service pro provider that is a referring, linking, or stored alleged infringing material on behalf of a user unless they have been notified of the infringement through a properly submitted takedown notice but fail to remove or disable access to the material identified in the notice, and a library or archive that has preemptively opted out of all CCB hearings. There are also uh, limitations on the number of claims that can be brought in a year. An individual can bring up to 30 cases within a 12 month period, but a law firm or an attorney can file no more than 80 and 40 cases, respectively, in a 12-month period. But multiple claims can be filed together. If a claimant has more than one claim, those claims can be filed together in the same proceeding as long as these claims arise out of the same infringing activity. And the total damages recovered do not exceed the amount allowed by the CCB. Copyright owners can file claims with the CCB even when they do not know the identity of the infringer. Lots of times online, people are known by their AKAs or take other steps to conceal their identity in an effort to make it difficult for copyright owners to pursue them for infringement. If you do not know the owner's identity, you can use a federal court issued subpoena, which will be sent to the service provider. The process works as follows. The claimant must submit a subpoena request to a clerk in a US district court. The subpoena request must include a copy of the DMCA takedown notice that was given to the service provider asking them to remove the material, a proposed subpoena, and a sworn declaration that the identity of the alleged infringer will only be used for the purpose of enf enforcing your copyright claim. If it's done correctly, the clerk will issue the subpoena and send it to you. Once you receive it, you have to send the subpoena to the service provider. You would also send them the DMCA takedown notice if you have not already done so. After they receive the subpoena, the service provider is then required by law to give you the identity of the alleged infringer. The CCB will provide more information about the subpoena process on their website so you can go there to fill in the blanks. Filing a CCB claim should prevent a service provider from reposting the infringing material. Before filing an infringement claim with the CCB, the alleged infringed work must be registered with the Copyright Office, no different than when you are pursuing it in court. To bring an infringement claim or counterclaim before the CCB, the copyright work must be registered and or the application must be pending. The copyright claims attorney has to approve the claim. The goal of the review is to make sure that you state a claim that is allowed by the CCB and also that you give enough information so that the respondent understands and can make an informed decision about how to proceed. The claimant will be notified, which would be you if you filed the claim, and you will be instructed to serve notice on the respondent. If the claim doesn't meet the necessary requirements, they give you 30 days to fix it so that it does comply. 
Here's the other thing. The amount that you can sue for at the CCB is dependent upon when you registered the copyrighted work. If it was registered within three months of the first time you distributed it, you can get 15,000 per infringed work or 30,000 per proceeding. If the copyright was registered more than three months, which is the case for a lot of people that you find out about the infringement and then you go register it with the copyright office, then you can get 7,500 per infringed work or 15,000 per proceeding. There is a really great handbook to help you file a claim at the ccb.gov website and I'll put that in the description and you may also want to consult an attorney to help you with these proceedings. I hope you found this helpful. If you're thinking about trying this, you can read the handbook, call an attorney, and I wish you great success in your music journey. Have a great day.